Hi, my name is Miriam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour um, of my bedroom. This is a four part um, video that I'm filming. Uh, so I will show you the progress of my apartment. I moved here in November of last year um, during rough, difficult times of my life. And um, the plants helped me survive. They helped me uh, be where I am today. They became a hobby. They became my inspiration. And um, I want to show you you know, what I have accomplished in this apartment so far. Uh, the t-shirt is my logo for my page. My granddaughter um, gave, gifted this to me, my granddaughter Desiree. So um, I did a few little adjustments to the t-shirt. I'll show you some pictures. Um, again, this is Miriam. Welcome to my channel. If you like this content, like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. See you soon. This is a view of the bedroom when I saw it for the first time. Um, it's just a white box, wires everywhere hanging. Here it was already taking shape, all the furniture's in, the, some of the plants are in. This is a view of the other side. Um, the portrait that I have had a big, I still have the Marilyn in the back. Now let's see the transformation. And this is the view of the opposite side in the bedroom. The dressers is from the 1960s. I just chalk paint this and if you have any questions, uh, you could send me a message in the description down below. And this is the opposite side. This is the doorway in my bedroom. I have um, my necklaces in this Ikea rack. And then this is my wall of quotes. Um, this is what's left of my full wall of quotes. It was from the ceiling to the floor. Um, but these are the most important ones for me. And um, I believe in all these. This little frame I got at a secondhand store and it's from 1967. Um, as you can see here, it was in May of 1967. And it is a portrait painted of somebody. I'm not sure um, about the family. I did a little research, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find anything on them. This is um, the t-shirt that I'm wearing with my logo. I just, it was a, a baggy cropped t-shirt. So I took it and I put an elastic in it. And um, this is the back of the closet door. This is one of my closets. I have two full of clothes. But these are my belts, my belt, belt, belt collection. And again, this is the rack with um, some, I have a lot of vintage necklaces that my mom gave me. And um, some that I purchased, some that I collected from thrift stores, and a bunch of vintage belts. And this is some of my vintage Marilyn Monroe's with the vintage frames. These are like plaster frames. And this is um, a prayer plant, um, it's a maranta, and um, this is one of my favorite plants. Um, it, she's just a drama queen. If she doesn't get water, she doesn't, uh, you know, the lighting has to be perfect with her. If not, this plant would just act crazy and get bugs. Um, but I'm very, I'm, I'm loving it. 
and th this is I'm heartbroken about this this was a gigantic plant that I had in my old apartment I moved here I just took a cutting I took a baby because I really couldn't take the whole plant and um, she's just doing really bad right now she's at nothing I could give you an update on her she's dead Senado Casey Sabrina And this is my Dracaena marginata. It's the red leaf Dracaena, and um, she's like seven feet tall. Um, this is one of the oldest plants that I have. Her and the pancake plant, which it didn't survive either. She died. Um, so she is um, a beauty, and she's an air cleaner. NASA keeps this plant clean in the air. Paragus firm, a plumosa. Uh, this one, I kill her. And she lost all her leaves, she went brown, and in the spring I cut her, I cut her everything up, and I was gonna give, it, give up, but then she started blooming again, she started throwing all these leaves. So this is her status. Now you could see in, the, in there that there's some leaves that they just didn't bloom, anything. <laughs> this is the string of hearts. And I just prune them, put them, prune them all day. I don't know if she's alive, she's doing good, if she's doing bad. I don't know. I, I, she keeps growing, she keeps trailing, but I'm not sure about this plant. Um, here I have a golden photos um she's going crazy she's living her best life she's like trailing um this was just a little cutting that i took in the spring from my um, mother plant that i have brought in the bathroom and she is just totally climbing up then here i have uh, this was just a leaf that i got um in 2019 from san martin and i'm almost convinced it's a birdie marks philodendron Okay, um, it's outgrowing this vintage planter that I have. Um, so really soon I'm going to be potting her in something else. Maybe stake her, I don't know. Or maybe I'll let her trail down this planter. Still haven't decided yet. I have a fiddle. A fiddle ben, 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 folum. I don't even know how to say the name of this plant. Um, but it's a fiddle leaf, um, philodendron. Uh, this is from my mother plant in the living room, which is gigantic. You could see that in my living room um, tour. And um, uh, yeah, she's growing. She's, she's growing pretty, pretty fast. I just dropped something. She's growing pretty fast. And um, here I have a hard leaf philodendron. Um, and the leaves are getting so big. Uh, she loves it here. She loves it in this window. Here I have a Ripsalis Casuta, and this is um, from Puerto Rico. Um, she's growing a bunch of branches. Uh, yeah, she's extremely happy in this window. She was yellow when I got her, and she did flower a few times. She's flowering again. You can see the little tiny flowers. Let me just hold it so you can see. Little, two little tiny flowers, this one here and this one here. Um, yeah, I got this from my sister in Puerto Rico, and I got her for a year now. Uh, there up there is a Neon Potos. This is um, another one. I just love Potos. So I bought this one at Lowe's, like very tiny, and um, she's growing pretty fast. Then here I have a Birkin, Philodendron Birkin. Then I have, um, this is a... Lemon lime philodendron. And she's loving it here too. These plants are really happy in this window. And then I have a Wyetii, a philodendron, cane begonia. I hate this AC unit. I just gotta leave it there for now until the summer's over. Um, here's the Wyetii. This was the cutting from my mother plant. And um, 
she loves it she she's just growing so fast this is such a fast grower but the leaves on this one are gigantic it's not like the other one and the leaves are very tiny oh no she's growing she's got some shoots oh, some growth points right here you can see it right there I don't know if you can see it, the camera is not focusing yeah, right there. Then here I have a Rapidora Hai. That's what that's 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 what it, that is that is her name. Um it's a Hai um a Rapidora Hai and um she loves it. She's she's just growing. Um it's very small when I got her. This is one of the Costa Farms um release um in Lowe's and that's where I got her from. Um she's gonna outgrow the plank maybe before the winter. So I don't know what I'm gonna do to extend it. Yeah, here is my Welfin baby. This was the baby and it grew bigger than the mother plant. And that's what it did. It just went crazy in the planter, and then I had a tiny little whale fin, and then this gigantic one. So I repotted her, and um, um, she loves it here too. She's near the sun. The more sun you give um the sansevierias, the bigger they get and the faster they grow. Here I have another angel wing begonia. This is again from my mother plant. And like I said, I don't know what is it that these tiny little plants, the leaves are so big or that they like the sun the way it is here. She's not in direct sun. She's in this corner. This is where she's growing and she's just loving it here. And then down here, I have a salsa picana. These are tiny propagations that I cut from my mother plants and I just planted them here to see with the different lighting to see how they do. Uh, this is a Ciba Blue. It needs to be water. These plants need to be water, especially tiny planters. Uh, this is a Hoya. I will put it in the description down below. I always forget. Um, she's doing really good. And then here is... Oh God. I need to clean that mess now. Here, uh, skin dapsins. Skin dap this is the skin dapsis um, from the mother plant. I had this propagating in water, and um, she's not doing that good. Um, I'm pretty sure she'll grow fine. She's just getting acclimated to, to her new um, home. She was all summer in water. And that's it. This is the view of my window. This is where I have um, a lot of the plants. Um, you could see here I have a micans. A philodendron micans. I almost forgot to show you this one. Um, yeah, she is growing beautiful. She's trailing a lot. And um, some of the trailing I just put her up the wall because it was so long and I didn't want to cut her yet. So, yeah, she's just growing like crazy. <laughs> Well, that was in the last one. The last one is this Brazil, um, philodendron Brazil that I'm just propagating in water and it has grown so much. It's ready to be repotted. The roots are taking over the little vase um, that I have on the top of the window. And this is another beauty. This is a Syndapsis. Um, it's a satin pop bottles. It's a silvery Anne. And I bought this at Home Depot. It was like four leaves. And um, I have propagated this so many times. Um, I'm it's very, very beautiful plant. I'm very happy with it. This is the last plant. This is the lady of the night. Um, I have videos in a lot of these plants. I will put the videos on the description down below. So you could just click on the link and go straight to the video. Yeah, she is doing really good. She loves it where she is. And um, 
This is the last plant in the room. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching.